Hi right, guys, so we'll be changing this hard drive on this Toshiba laptop. Uh, this laptop here is going to be in the description, but as you guys can see, it's a regular Toshiba laptop. You will need a precision screwdriver, and that's what I'm holding here is a precision uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, you can have this, or you can find this actually in any uh, computer repair kit um, here, like I have here displayed. And this is typical of a you know computer repair kit has precision screwdrivers that you can use. So this is the only tool that you need is that screwdriver, and of course this is a Toshiba laptop. So I'll flip it over, and the first thing that we're going to do here is take the battery out. Now the battery has uh, two um, sort of like connectors or hooks here that holds it in place. So if you unhook the, uh, or if you unlock that option there at the sides, then there goes the battery. All right, so it's fairly easy to get that out, and you guys should know how to do that. Um, so now I'm going to turn the laptop back over, and then uh, I'm checking to see where the uh, VGA external uh, graphics is and also where the uh, LAN adapter is or the LAN internet connection um, so those pretty much are on the left side of the system so I uh, from just looking at the system will know that okay it's on the right side that I will find the hard drive so if you look right there there's actually a little screw um, marked F5 and that's what I'm actually gonna go ahead and just uh, take out right now now once I uh, get this cover open then the hard drive is ex exposed there's one screw holding it in place right there uh, but for the most part um, you know to take it out all you need to do is just basically kinda slide it uh, backwards like I just did there and once you slide it just kinda pull it out so that's the hard drive it's been having a lot of problems for the customer it's a Toshiba hard drive Toshiba 320 gig hard drive came with the system uh, so now here we have the new hard drive and I'll go ahead and replace the old hard drive with the new one All right. I will definitely need the case for the hard drive or the housing for the hard drive so I'll go ahead and uh, remove these screws here there are four screws holding it in place and I'm just taking these screws out here that's the first one uh, now that's the second second so there are four screws holding this case uh, firmly in, pay in place with the hard drive because uh, you want everything to be secure um, you, know, you don't want the hard drive to be moving around once it's in the laptop so once we get these screws out we'll remove the old hard drive which I'm doing right now so that there you have it that's the whole Toshiba hard drive and this is the housing for the hard drive that goes in the laptop alright so we'll set that aside and uh, it's time for us to get the new hard drive. This system, this hard drive here is actually a brand new hard drive, never been used before. Um, and this this one actually is a Western Digital hard drive. I think this one is a 250 gigabyte hard drive. You guys can see and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this hard drive and I'm going to put it back into the old case that we just took off so here I actually think I did it wrong so let me go ahead and just flip flip it over alright so now it's actually in the right location and once I've confirmed it, I'm going to go ahead and just put the screws back in place. And now these screws are very tricky. And I think this is the trickiest part of the whole installation is just keeping my hands on these screws. They're very small and, um, you know, it's easy for you to just to lose them. So you want to 
definitely try to have them some you know some somewhere safe that you don't misplace them you need each and every screw as I just lose a screw just now <laughs> all right so uh, let me finish up and get this one in here all right so as you guys can see got a couple more screws to go but should be able to get this one in here Man, these things are tricky. All right, so now it's time for the last screw. All right, so now that we got everything in place properly, everything looks good, everything is secured. Western Digital Hard Drive is firmly in place in the housing. Now um, let's go ahead and just slide this bad boy right back into place right there and got to be real careful when you're putting the hard drive back in. Definitely don't want to bang it up too much. You want to make sure it's flushed, make sure it's pushed in properly, make sure there's no uh, extra spaces or any gaps in between the hard drive and that SATA connector. Um, now I'm taking that uh, also just keep in mind that you will need the screw uh, I think that's what I'm looking for here there we go but this is the screw that actually holds the hard drive in place on the motherboard or onto the laptop in itself so you want to make sure that you screw that on and make sure it's firmly placed on here bit of problem uh, getting the screw in place so got all my neat tools to hold the screws and try to get get them back on track here well, basically this tool here uh, has helped me so much as far as just to whenever I lose screws I'm able to just to grab them and kind of fit them back in place here Alright, so now that I got the screw in place, I'm going to make sure that the hard drive cover is uh, installed back on here. Okay, and just want to make sure that the uh, F5 screw is retightened. Also, just putting the back battery back in, uh, just making sure that it fits perfectly in there. Now time to turn it on and just make sure that the the BIOS is actually reading the hard drive. So we you know we always want to just double check and just make sure that it is hooked up properly. And for the most part right now I'm just turning it on and we're just gonna check it, just make sure that we are able to see the hard drive in the BIOS. So here we go. Now, um, once the system comes up, you'll just to get in the BIOS. Of course, you'll just have to hit F2 or F10. Um, however, your system is set up, it will be displayed at the bottom of your uh, computer. As well as you can always check, you know, the manufacturer's website to find out how to actually actually get into the BIOS. But the BIOS holds configuration information on your system, hardware functionality, as well as uh, you know, you you could change the way the hardware is set up on your your system. So, for the most part, you might have to try it a couple of times to get in there. But once you're in, you're in. And here we go. So now we actually have the BIOS on the screen. It's, it has detected the hard drive. That's the new hard drive that I just put in here, guys. If you guys can see it, it's a Western Digital 250 gigabytes hard drive. 
installed into this Toshiba system so now uh, now that the hard drive is installed as you guys can clearly see it's time to get an operating system put on here so I think I'll go ahead and throw Windows 7 on for the customer I think at this point but um, just keep in mind that you can always visit computer things and that's computer things with a Z dot com for more tech tips thanks for watching hope you guys find it useful subscribe thanks mm -hmm.